Hello friends, this video on body fluids and circulation part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the donor acceptor compatibility with blood group AB as acceptor. So AB, if AB is the acceptor, so what are the antigens which are present? Both A and B antigens are present. So what are the antibodies corresponding to them which are safe? there will be no antibodies, right? Because there should be no antibodies for A, B antigens to be safe. Now, if it is A, so if A tries to donate to A, B, now since there are no antibody bodies at all, so there is nobody to attack the antigens A, so A can donate. Similarly, if B wants to donate, again, there is no antibodies to attack the antigens B, so again, B can also donate. If it is AB, even AB can donate because actually now there are nobody to attack or to destroy these blood, red blood cells. So now if you see, everybody can donate because there are no antibodies to attack any of them. So that means we can say that the blood group AB is an universal acceptor. That is, it can accept blood from any person belonging to any blood group. So if a patient who has AB blood group needs blood, he can accept blood from anybody with A, B, A, B or O. Now let us look at the same compatibility with blood group O as acceptor. So if it is blood group O, what would be the antibodies which are present here? Now this will have both A and B antibodies because here absolutely you don't have any antigens as such. So there is no fear of um, getting destructed, right? So both antibodies will be there. Now what will happen if A wants to donate? If A tries to donate these antibodies, A will attack the antigen A and spoil it. So A cannot donate. If it is B, B also cannot donate because in this case, the antibodies B will attack the antigens B. So B cannot donate. If it is AB, AB also can't donate because AB has both A and B antigens and these antibodies will attack them. So this also can't donate. So the only one which can donate is O because O doesn't have any antigens, so these cannot attack anything. So O can donate. So if the acceptor is O, the only person who can donate is O. But another interesting fact about the blood group O is that if you observe in the past three slides, everywhere O could donate. So O is a universal donor. That is, a person with blood group O can donate blood to any person with any blood group. So that is a person with blood group O can donate blood to somebody with blood group A, B, A, B or O. So that means O is known as the universal donor. So this is all about the donor acceptor compatibility. So I hope that now you understood the logic that why certain blood groups are compatible, why blood group A and A are compatible with each other, but A and B are not compatible with each other. So what would happen? So now you tell me what would happen if you do a blood transfusion from a patient with blood group A to a patient with blood group B. Now as soon as you do this transfusion, all the red blood cells will die because the antibodies will kill all the red blood cells belonging to blood group B. So as a result, when all the red blood cells die, your blood is actually not having RBCs. If RBCs are not there, there will be no transportation. If no transportation, no circulation, the patient is not going to survive. And this caused the tragic death of so many people in earlier days when this concept of blood group was not known. So this, the conclusion is that blood of donor and recipient need to be carefully matched during transfusion so that there is no confusion. So first of all, whenever a patient is admitted to a hospital for any injury or illness, the blood group of the patient should be detected so that steps can be taken accordingly during transfusion. AB is the universal recipient that is it can take blood from A, B, A, B or O and O is the universal donor because it can give blood to any other blood group whether it is A, B, A, B or O. So now let us quickly look at the different blood group and their donors group. So if the blood group is A, who all can donate blood? A and O. If 
the blood group is B, who can donate blood? B and O. If it is AB, everybody can donate because AB is the universal acceptor and if it is O, that only O can donate. So this is a list which is going to be helpful throughout your lifetime. So I hope the concept of blood group AB, O grouping at least is clear by now. So now, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.